from Sidney Powell, who is uh, uh, General Flynn's lawyer. She says, number one, the FBI willfully chose to ignore mention of Section 1001 in the interview. They planned a perjury trap, a perjury trap. And in doing so, put it in writing saying, what is our goal? Their goal was to get Flynn to either admit he broke the Logan Act or lie so they could later prosecute him. It was not a legitimate uh, counterintelligence investigation. They didn't warn him the way we usually would be required by the department. They bypassed the De Justice Department. They bypassed the protocols at the White House and so forth. They lay a perjury trap, perjury trap for General Flynn. Sidney Powell, the lead attorney for Michael Flynn, discusses how the FBI refused to follow standard protocols. The FBI agents had gone in, ambushed, interviewed him, did not record the interview. Of course, they didn't even tell him that they were interviewing him as a subject. They schemed and connived to keep him from knowing that he was a subject of the interview. They deliberately wanted to avoid that because they wanted to keep him relaxed and unguarded. Nothing about this case was done right. Nothing about this case was done right. Former FBI Director Jim Comey laughed about how easy it was to set Flynn up. It's hard to imagine two FBI agents ending up in the state room. How did that happen? I sent them. Um, <laughs> um, something we, I probably wouldn't have done or maybe gotten away with in a more organized investigation, a more organized administration. Thought it's early enough, let's just send a couple guys over. And so... In his arrogance, he actually told us what he did. Let's just send a couple of FBI guys in and let's just laugh about it. Real funny to destroy a man's life. Real funny to destroy General Flynn's life, a three-star general who has served this country with honor. Uh, we placed a call to Flynn, said, hey, we're sending a couple guys over. Uh, hope you'll talk to them. There's not a legitimate uh, counterintelligence investigation he said sure nobody else was there they interviewed him in a conference room at the White House Situation Room and he lied to them and that's what he's now pled guilty to what did he think they were coming over there for uh, I don't think he knew I know we didn't tell him <laughs>